Broadcasting any audio source to Blast Radio with Audio Hijack is super simple. First, download the Blast Radio mobile app and set up your profile. Download the Audio Hijack app from rogueamoeba.com. You can download the free version to test the product, but you'll need to purchase it for full functionality. Once you've installed the app, create a new blank session. Choose what you want to broadcast from the sources section. In this case, I'm choosing an application so I can play a pre-recorded song. I'm also choosing an input device so I can select my microphone and talk on my radio show. Choose the Blast Radio plugin as the destination for your audio. This will show up under Audio Unit Effects. If you don't have the plugin, download from blastradio.com. Type in your username to log in. You will then be emailed a six digit authorization code. Copy that code and paste it into the plugin to log in. Press the record button in your audio hijack session to start transferring the audio. You'll see there's a live audio feed coming from the input device to the Blast Radio plugin. Click Start Live Broadcast to broadcast that audio to Blast Radio. At this point, you could also start any other audio sources you plan to broadcast. The audio feed will be uploaded to the cloud and delivered to the listener in the highest possible quality. Hey, you're listening to my show on Blast Radio. In the app, the broadcast icon will turn red and you'll see a red circle around your profile image. Your followers will receive a push notification that says you're on air. They can tap to open the app and tune into your broadcast. Listeners will see a prominent tip button. They choose the amount, then confirm by doing an in-app purchase. This operates the same on both iOS or Android devices. You will receive a notification that says how much you were tipped and by who. You can see your listener count as well as tips raised directly in the plugin. You'll also see listener count and tips raised in the broadcaster drawer in the mobile app. To end your broadcast, press Stop Broadcast. Your broadcast will be available to listeners for 24 hours before it expires. You can always access past broadcasts by visiting your profile. Swipe left on any broadcast to unpublish, delete, or download to have the lossless WAV file emailed to you. You can also do a sound check broadcast, which only you can hear. The broadcast icon and the circle around your profile image will turn yellow instead of red. Sound check turns off automatically after one broadcast. Log out if you're using someone else's setup or if someone else would like to log in using your computer.